Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Extinct Breaks Originals and here is part 2 of our Shirosaurus LEGO custom. This is also in collaboration with Ibito Universe, Jurassic LEGO and of course your truly Extinct Breaks. So watch their uh, very own LEGO custom videos. Here's a closer look. Hey there everyone and we're here for part 2 of our Shirosaurus special and here is our finished Shunosaurus. Alright, so this particular Shunosaurus set is actually based off from this particular photo over here. Uh, EB here will be coming back later on for some size comparison. So let's have a closer look on our Shunosaurus. So the Shunosaurus here is actually a medium size. I would say a medium size, although it's quite large already. Uh, sauropod. And uh, it's, uh, it's particularly um, peculiar because it has this club on it, on the end of its tail and there's no um, uh, sort of what I think that I know of that it, that has actually that so I made these Shinosaurus so uh, so that I can have you know additional um, sauropod to my collection that would be uh, particularly um, you know different from the others so, uh, it has this fairly short neck to it compared to other long neck um, sauropods. Uh, the uh, head here is actually based off from a more, um, what do you call this, um, accurate, I guess, uh, depiction of the Shunosaurus. Um, it has a lot of, you know, details to it, as you can see, with uh, certain, you know, um, uh, radiation from uh, darker blue to light blues and even grays and black so uh, what we have here is um, a fairly large figure to be honest but um, compared to my other you know, sauropods already it's very it's fairly small compared to those right so um, it has several articulations here this has a bone, bone suction on the neck of course it can open and close its mouth like so This a swivel on the neck area, as you can see here. So you can go from left to right, and then of course the legs can move like so. They can actually similar to most of my figures here. And then the tail would be, you have also have a swivel here, and then another articulation here at this point. And of course it has uh, two by three uh, studs on the back. So that's it. So that is my Shinosaurus guy. So uh, some details also include, you know, art, um, uh, attachment. You know, it can attach to the base plate, and it has those, you know, typical um, thumbs on uh, on a particular sauropod. So yeah. So that is my Shinosaurus guys. I hope you like it. And for some size com size comparisons, I'm bringing back here Eevee and comparing it in terms of uh, this particular photo over here of a Shunosaurus versus a human uh, figure or a human um, a scale uh, I, I think uh, our Shunosaurus and the mini figure here would uh, actually uh, you know, within the ranges of that particular size now let's compare this one with some of uh, our sauropods over here so first one we have the Bonitasaura by Ibiso Universe Uncle Mike did such a great job on this one. I, it, this one actually is my favorite of the sauropods that he made, the Bonitosaura. So watch out for that, guys. Probably one time soon, I'm also going to make a Bonitosaura uh, for the channel. So Bonitosaura coming up soon. <laughs> All right. So um, uh, the reason why I love this this one so much is not only it it uh, actually is very similar to or very representative of the actual uh, Jurassic World um, uh, the game uh, figure level 40 yeah, I really love the color combinations the violets the, uh, what do you call this? the uh, light blues and the yellows they complement each other and then of course the black uh, I really love how uh, the um, Jurassic World game um, made this particular 
uh, design to this one. Another would be the uh, Parasora over here, which is a hybrid. Uh, this is also made by Ubitoy Universe of the Mic. And uh, also this one is a really awesome figure. This is one of the more recent figures that he made for the channel. So uh, please watch the uh, Parasora video, guys. It's a really, really cool video. Uh, another one would be uh, this one. This is the Ampelosaurus, which is one of those titanosaurus that uh, I've always wanted to make. And uh, look at the similarities of this uh, the, the Shinosaurus and the Ampelosaurus. They, they, they use the same base figures, however, somewhat uh, not similar. <laughs> this one has a different articulation on the neck and uh, it has a more curved S shape up on the neck to it. Uh, but also has this a very armored uh, back. Uh, so this is the Antelosaurus guys and this is the Shimmer So in terms of size, they are pretty much the same. I think this one has a much higher uh, back to it, but nonetheless, they are. We will both have the same uh, stage, we will have the same um, base figures, we will have the same overall uh, look to it in our direction. Alright, so that's the uh, Antelosaurus. Another one would be... And this is the level 40 Jurassic World, uh, the game. <laughs> it's so long. There you go. <laughs> This is the uh, Jurassic World, uh, the game, level 40, Diplodocus. And if we're just going to, you know, angle it a little bit over here. So, it's a very long figure because it's a Diplodocus. It's uh, one of the longest ever um, sauropods. And uh, this one is um, made in collaboration with me uh, as a sauropod uh, collab, uh, along with... Jurassic Lego. So, um, uh, this one uh, is the entry of uh, Uncle Mike from EB Toy Universe. Mine is the uh, Shinosaurus, and Jurassic uh, Lego would be the um, uh, Baby Brachiosaurus. So, uh, uh, please watch their videos. Uh, watch the video of the the full video of the um, the Platocus, uh, level forty from Jurassic World again. Uh, please also watch and also subscribe to Jurassic World Lego uh, and watch this video on the Brachiosaurus and uh, also watch the, the, the other uh, videos that um, Jurassic Lego has to offer and yeah so another one is that I all uh, in, in, in relation to this particular um, collaboration I also did a meeting of my um, Diplodocus because you know the previous one that I did is uh, somehow not very um, in line with how I actually do my figures at the moment so here is my reversion of the Diplodocus there's not much uh, change here uh, I just did uh, a few modifications and uh, shortened the neck a little bit I also uh, created those um, what do you call those those uh, thumb like things on on on, uh, on the forelimbs also made the uh, forelimbs flat here over here and, uh, yeah. so uh, basically we colored uh, the um, the platypus uh, based off from the Jurassic oh I mean prehistoric kingdom uh, Brachiosaurus and uh, I really like how the color is at the moment as you can see here I'm going to put up a shorts uh, on this one so please watch that as well all right so and that's it for the size comparisons let's move on to extinct Prince pc Rocco. and we have here all of the sofas that have shown you here so far on the uh, video and if you do have other suggestions of other you know sauropods <laughs> or other you know um, species that you like to see here on uh channel please please uh comment them down below i don't know not and if i think that that would be something that I can do then definitely will include those in to my long list of views. <laughs> well um, also EB here would like to remind you guys that this year is actually available in our extinct playlist 
but I'll also be placing in individual links of all of the creatures that you see here so that you won't have to go through all of those 500 plus videos that I've already uploaded uh, but if you do like to you know take the adventure with me and uh, course through uh, those um, uh, videos then please I would appreciate it give it a like uh, and you know share it with your friends I guess and yeah, so let's start with our extinct Brink species roll call. Let's start from this side. This is the Ibito Universe um, uh, Parasaur from Jurassic World the game. Uh, this is my version of the Ampelosaurus. Uh, Ibito Universe Jurassic World the game level 40, the Plotokis. Uh, part of our uh, collaboration for this uh, par particular week. Uh, this is the uh, reversion of my uh, the Plotokis, uh, inspired by the uh, prehistoric kingdom uh, Brachiosaurus and of course this is the Jurassic World the game uh, level 40 uh, Bonitasaura alright and of course the stall crystal here this is our extinct bricks um, prehistoric kingdom inspired uh, Shunosaurus and that's it for the video guys I hope you enjoyed this one and uh, if you do please consider you know hi there sir uh, if you do, please consider uh, giving this video a like, uh, sharing it with your friends, and also um, consider um, <clears throat> subscribing to my channel if you have it. <laughs> and yeah, so thank you again guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next. Bye everyone! Also, please do not forget to support our other channels, Ibito Universe, The Adventures of Moira and Asher, and Tito Mike's Kitchen, please watch their videos and support their channel by subscribing, guys. And as we always would say, let your inner dino brain roar!